If you've previously used any of Xiaomi's budget note series, when you pick up the Redmi Note 10, aside its lightweight and beautiful design, what attracts the most is the stunning AMOLED display. But is that all there is to Xiaomi's Redmi Note 10? What is up guys, Izzy here and welcome to the channel. So straight to the point, this is the Redmi Note 10, what I'd like to call a significant upgrade and a worthy successor to the Redmi Note 9 from last year. Now this has not actually officially launched in Nigeria so I'm not sure its official retail price but I got it for around 105,000 Naira. Now this is the version with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. I've been using it for a couple of days, actually just over a week. And the experience has been pretty smooth for the most part, except for a few minimal concerns which we are going to get into later. But first, let's see what comes in the box of the Redmi Note 10. You'll get a user guide, a warranty card, 33W fast charging brick, a USB-C cable, a transparent protective casing and the device itself. Typical of Xiaomi, you don't get earphones. There is also a pre-installed screen protector on the device right out of the box. The Redmi Note 10 has a really good design and a solid build. It has Gorilla Glass 3 on the display. The back is built of plastic and not glass. Plastic is the preference for durability and is also lighter than glass. That is to say the Redmi Note 10 is lightweight and with those curved edges on the rear, it is pretty comfortable to hold. This is the dual toned and lovely looking onyx grey. You also get it in pebble white and aqua green. It is a glossy finish and it attracts fingerprints quite a lot so you might want to use it with a case or wipe it very often. The camera module is arranged nicely to the left in a more subtle bump compared to what we had on the previous generation. All buttons and ports are in their expected positions. The fingerprint scanner is side mounted and doubles as a power button on the right side of the device. It is responsive and as fast as you'd expect of a physical fingerprint scanner. The Redmi Note 10 supports dual nano SIM cards and there is an extra slot for expandable storage. You also get the signature IR blaster at the top right next to one of dual microphones. You get stereo speakers on the Redmi Note 10 with one at the top and the other at the bottom. It produces really good quality sound, you actually need to have it on hand to appreciate its sound. Those stereo speakers paired with the full HD AMOLED display makes for really good media experience. The display is 6.43 inches and has its selfie camera centered in a hole punch cutout. It has a display density of 401 pixels per inch. You can get up to 1100 nits of peak brightness. That is to say it can get really bright and convenient for outdoor use. One of the attributes of an AMOLED display is the ability to get very vibrant colors. With the Redmi Note 10, you have the option to set it to saturated or allow it to choose the best automatically for whatever you are viewing. With an AMOLED display also comes AOD, that is always on display. You get a couple of options to set it how you like. You also have edge lighting which lights up the edges whenever there is a notification. Pretty cool stuff. You can also use dark mode on here and expect it to consume less battery. The display is actually very responsive and the experience is smooth. Though it isn't a high refresh rate display like the Redmi Note 10 Pro, but it feels really fluid and not like your regular 60Hz display. I should say though, if you are enjoying this video so far, a sub to the channel will be very much appreciated. Now let's ride on. The software on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 is MIUI 12 on Android 11. MIUI 12 brings a lot of visual changes, some smooth animations too. As always, it doesn't forget to come with a ton of pre-installed bloatware apps, most of which you can easily uninstall. You will also experience ads on the device but it is not intrusive and you may only encounter them after installing an application or when you are using system applications like the default file manager. As smooth as the experience goes with the Redmi Note 10, sadly I still experience delayed notification. I also experienced this while I was using the Redmi Note 9S. Now I'm signed into a couple of devices at the same time and each time a notification comes, I always get the last on the Redmi Note 10. Now, this may not be a major issue for you and you probably are not going to notice the delaying notification unless you have more than one device and like me, you have them signing at the same time. That is when you are going to notice the delaying notification. Aside that, it is a pretty fluid experience. With the Redmi Note 10, you get a base 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. You can go up to 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. It is UFS 2.2 storage. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 is powered by the Snapdragon 678 processor which has pretty impressive benchmark scores both on Geekbench and Antutu. 
It is accompanied by an Adreno 612 GPU which I'd say provides fairly good gaming experience, even on graphics demanding titles. With PUBG Mobile, you are going to get default graphics setting of HD and high frame rate. You can get ultra frame rate if you switch to balanced graphics settings. You are going to get smooth gameplay with no lags. On Call of Duty Mobile, you get default high graphics settings and high frame rates. You can go up to very high graphics settings, but to get maximum frame rates, you have to stick to high graphics settings or less. I've not done long hours of gaming sessions yet, I reserve that for a gaming review. So please leave a comment if you like a gaming review and mention any game you want tested on the Redmi Note 10. While using the Redmi Note 10, I have not experienced anything abnormal when it comes to heating even during gameplay. What I found strange however was the device heating up above what I would call normal while I was using its cameras. As for battery life, the Redmi Note 10 comes with a 5000 mAh battery which carries you through at least a full day of use. From my experience however, it felt more like a 4000 mAh battery. Could be based on my usage though, but it doesn't last as long as I would have expected from a 5000 mAh battery. We'll see how far in my gaming and battery test though. It supports fast charging up to 33 watts and it can get 50% charge in about 25 minutes. For a full charge, it takes about 115 minutes to charge from 0 to 100. On to the cameras of the Redmi Note 10. You get a 13 megapixel selfie shooter and on the rear we have a 48 megapixel quad camera setup which includes an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and 2 megapixels macro and depth sensors. You get plenty of camera modes including pro mode and slow motion up to 960 frames per second. The Redmi Note 10 is capable of taking really good pictures from its main and ultra wide cameras with really good dynamic range. You can switch to 48 megapixel mode for very high resolution photos. Its macro camera is just 2 megapixels so you are actually better off using the high res mode and cropping in. It has a dedicated night mode which does a decent job of taking better low light photos. Selfies are actually good, both normal and portraits. However, I still think the images are overprocessed and loses a little bit of detail. Too smooth. But if you like your pictures processed like this, why not? I'm sure the ladies will love this more. If you are not satisfied though, you can use Gcam which provides better image processing. The Redmi Note 10 is able to shoot videos up to 4K and 30 frames per second on its rear cameras and I'd say it does a very good job. On the selfie camera, it can only shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Okay, it's a selfie camera test of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 and also a microphone quality test. Its selfie cameras can only shoot up to 1080p 30 frames per second. You get up to 4K 30 frames per second on the rear cameras. You also get a ton of camera features on here, including um, slow motion up to 960 frames per second. You also get pro mode and a couple other features. What do you think about the mic quality? What do you think about the picture quality or video quality? The Redmi Note 10 is a device that has actually really impressed me, and I'd say it is a significant upgrade over the Redmi Note 9, especially in display and design. I believe it is really good value for money and it should also give the competition a run for its money. Now I'm going to be reviewing the Redmi Note 10 Pro as soon as I can get my hands on it so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ding that notification bell icon so you don't miss that video. If you want to see a gaming review of the Redmi Note 10, do let me know in the comment section which game you would like tested. If I get enough comments, I'm going to do a gaming review. And also if you find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.